original route into town and will cross where the bridge had run over the river, but there is no bridge to cross because it hasn't been a river since they wrapped the show. And just before we reach town, on your right, you will see the sweetheart tree. Can I get an aww? aww. On the right is the sweetheart tree. lovingly and said sorry and the tree's like I right, it's okay all right um, on your left we're gonna be driving through slow so you all can get photos on your left you'll see the post office blacksmith and Doc Baker's and on the right over here right there is the hill where Laura gave Nellie a wheelchair a wheelchair trip to remember I can still hear her screams <laughs> also on the right is Hanson's mill where nearly everyone worked at one time or another I think you worked there didn't you I was there. Did you work there? Yeah. There's a sign right here on the left. Walnut Grove was founded by <laughs> Lars, Han Lars Hansen in 1840, blown up by the townspeople four decades later. And now it has been partially recreated to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Little House in the Prairie. Here's the mercantile. It was the only place in town to shop while a woman stood on the porch yelling, Nay! I can still hear her. I can hear that voice. And here we have, coming up on the left, we have the church and the school. Personally, I still think Willie's standing in the corner. I don't think they told him that school was dismissed. But that was the church and the school. Um, we've heard from him, but really, where is he? I know I'm missing a photo walk right now. Next up is Nellie's. Nellie's, the least wanted graduation present of all time. It's like, Mama, Papa, what'd you get me? We got you a restaurant so you can work for the rest of your life. What? But you know what? The restaurant brought Nellie and Percival together, so everything worked out in the end. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is the fee oh we're gonna wait i'll wait till we get near there we have the feed and seed coming up on your right <coughs> it was there the entire series and the owner lee moneal was only seen in one episode does anyone remember the name of that episode did i hear someone say harvest of harvest of Pines? And on the, on the left-hand side, the most notable right. thing about the bank is that it is Walnut Grove's only brick facade. Can I get a And there's lots of bags of money behind it. <laughs> so now we're going to turn around and go back. We're going to go to the back, the same route. So everyone on this side will now be able to look at that side. Everyone on this side, you know. And then you do the whole pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Okay. So while we're turning, I have a couple of really fun facts. In the episode Little Girl Lost, remember that? When Carrie fell down an old mine, A, why was she there? What's up with that? Whatever. Anyway, it was Rachel Greenbush who fell down the mine. But it was Sydney Greenbush that they rescued. So as near as we can tell, Rachel is probably still down there. So if you happen to see her, I know they're both running around the festival today. Let her know that we're still looking for her. And you may be wondering where some other things were shot because not everything was shot here. Um, we'll cover a lot of that after the little house. But one fun fact that I want to share, when they were shooting at the MGM Studios old lot, Alison Angram and Melissa Gilbert 
actually played on a small bit of the Yellow Brick Road. Because it's where they, it was still there from the Wizard of Oz. And some of you probably already know this, Ray Bolger, who yeah. played the Scarecrow, he, uh, on the Wizard of Oz, for those of you who don't know, he was a guest star in Little House of the Prairie for the role of Toby No in two episodes in season five. First one was called, There's No Place Like Home, part one. Where'd they come up with that line? Scarecrow, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And he was also in Dance With Me. How cool is that? This is one of my favorite stories. The bank was also used as the pen and plow. Remember that? Harriet's happenings? That gossip oh. man? Um, and it gave us one of the best pranks Albert and Laura ever <coughs> pulled off. Everything at Olson's, 100%. Oh, those kids. <laughs> um, the feed and seed caused a plague during the uh, series. So, in the words of Doc Baker, <coughs> burn this place to the ground. So, in the episode Harriet's Happenings, Miss Foster runs out with a really beautiful item that she didn't have to pay for. Does anyone remember what that item was? Ah, who said that? Yes, it was a beautiful, the beautiful gold um, mantle clock that um, Harriet loved, but Miss Foster got it 100% off. Such a deal. Such a deal. And on the right, we have Nellie's. Again, Nellie's Restaurant and Hotel. Anyone want some cinnamon chicken? Just hold the cayenne pepper. Remember that episode? And, uh, El Manzo's, El Manzo's cinnamon chicken. And then we have the church coming up. So in the first season, the rope for the bell was on the left side. And then the next season, it was on the right. We don't know why. It's one of those mysteries of Little House on the Prairie. However, when I watched Harriet's Happenings the other night, um, it was back on the right. But that was season five. Maybe they did it just to mess with people. It's like, you're gonna go ring the bell. Which side? Wait, wait, wait. And here at the Mercantile, the supply of gumdrops and peppermint sticks was always in jeopardy with the kids of Walnut Grove around here. Where the dentist made lots of money. Go eat the candy. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hanson's Mill had a table saw had a saw run by a water wheel. It defied physics, but somehow it worked. Again, mysteries of Walnut Grove. And to the right is the post office where both Grace Edwards and Alice Garvey worked. And they just happened to live in the same house at different times. Coincidence? I think not. Another mystery. I, my, here's my philosophy. Here's my, what I think. Oh, and there's the tree and the hill. Um, I think the house maybe came with the job. That's just my theory. Maybe if you worked at the post office, that was like the post office. 